Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier 7 game, and I'm flying what might be the two worst tier 7 heavy fighter in the game, the F7F okay. Tiger Cat. Coming my Tiger Cat, do, just to be fair, Let's roll. is not yet fully upgraded. I don't have the top engines on, <laughs> and I, I thoroughly hate this plane. But there's only one reason to fly this aircraft. That's to get your hands on the F. I'm sorry, the XF5U Flying Pancake, or Flying Flapjack, which might be one of the silliest heavy fighters in the game. So here I am trying to I, I'm trying to grind out the engines. I need like another five or six thousand experience, and then after that it's eighty eight thousand experience to go, and I'll have a flapjack. And after playing this mode once before this match, this is actually the second time flying the bomber intercept version of this game, I realized that heavy fighters are the way to go. So I got off my Corsair. Yeah, of course I did first the Corsair, and now I'm coming screaming in the tier seven heavy fighter. I'm still figuring out this mode at this point. Give this guy a quick taste of it, and then it's just right into the bomber formation, because that's what we're here for. Delicious, delicious bombers. Now, there's a lot of red planes back there. I said, so I'm just going to continue. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to turn around for this one. First, I was thinking of actually rushing the other bomber formation to the side. Now, we'll work over one formation at a time. Then seeing all those red planes defending, I say, or we can go for easier pickings. <laughs> go for the other flight. There it is. I'm not going to go. Yeah. What does this thing I'm going for? It? Massive forward firepower, like most heavies, but perhaps even more so uh, than most of the other tier 7s. Which is good, because it does not very fast. <laughs> and uh, it also doesn't turn particularly well. I mean, even for a heavy fighter, this thing turns like it's on rails. Which is kind of sad after playing through the lightnings, which are actually had some of the best turning radii of any of the heavy fighters in the previous tiers. Those were actually kind of enjoyable. Well, spot enemy player. Give him a solid thwacking, but unfortunately he sets me on fire, so I'm losing more health as I come raging into the middle of the B-17 formation again here. Yeah, I feel a little silly attacking B-17s with a Tiger Cat. I'm now going to try and climb out of trouble because I don't know what's behind me, but as it turns out, what's chasing me is in fact an XP-50. <laughs> I can't outclimb an XP-50 on this thing, so splat. Oh well. We'll respawn shortly and try again. So we're going to watch someone else get shot down. <laughs> And then we'll watch someone else go and attack something while I'm waiting for my plane to respawn. Here we go, got my plane back. Alright, oh look, there's a bomber formation like right there. Once I regain my orientation, I'm just gonna barrel straight into it. Well, first I'm gonna barrel through this enemy aircraft. Yep, there goes the guy who just shot me down. It was just a bot. You know, being shot down by a bot's very embarrassing, but, well, <laughs> happens to me a lot in this plane. You just cannot run anything. Well, you cannot run things, you just can't. Come on. It's just not very good at doing anything but shooting. Yep, that, that's how fast this plane can die <laughs> under fire, because you just can't evade anything. Alright, well, back to wait out the respawn. This is, this is why I just don't like this plane very much. Pretty much only choice you have is, you know, charge in, shoot things, and hope that you last long enough <laughs> to do some real damage before you die. So here we go. Okay, that bomber flight. He's mostly down. Oh, look, enemy player. Not anymore. Look at those bombers go. Nah, I probably should go pick on something else because I'm still sort of kind of figuring out the mode as I fly here. Which means a couple times here I'm going to make some critical mistakes. For example, I'm obsessing a little too much over chasing players, and if they're, they're keeping us shooting down bombers, that would actually be a good thing. But in this mode, killing those attack flight bombers is in fact of paramount importance. Because you see that, that blue fortress thing in the little top screen? Yeah, if ten bombers get through and destroy that completely, you lose the match. That's the intercept team. All those zones they're capturing, they're just useful as another way of shooting down bombers. Now I'm going to run down a very dangerous ME-410, but because I had the advantage, I'm able to blow him out of the sky. Now I'm looking around for the next target, but it's a 
Really? Oh, it's a diving. Oh, it's you again, XP50. Go away. <laughs> we don't like you. You keep shooting us down. <laughs> now, it's a ridiculous CI high height. I'm like, yeah, I'm well above everything, but oh, look. There's another player. Well, actually, I think it's another bot. Then I realize I don't really want to fight that. I need to kill players. There comes that P51 again. <laughs> See you later, bud. And now we're looking at the two bomber flights going, all right, I need to pick on someone. But, you know, we'll shoot up anything that wanders in our path. Well, at first, let him go. He's taking some damage. And now we're trying to kill bombers. Oh, I'm being shot at again. Hopefully it's just the B-17s. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Run away! But the thing shooting at me is, guess what? Yup, it's the Conway. It's XP-50 again. <laughs> yeah, I cannot run that. With one engine down, um, no. <laughs> Wee! I'll just try and pull him as far away from the battle as possible. So hopefully most people have more chances to shoot down bombers. And then we'll go back to waiting for our turn to respawn again. For my plane, please give me back my plane. There's lots of bombers who need smiting. There we go, alright. Well, the nearest bomber flight is right over there. Let's just pile in and hope it doesn't have too many defenders. really need to fly through the B-17 there, but <laughs> I'm lucky to still have a plane after that. <laughs> but I lose an engine. Uh, but that actually is not entirely a bad thing, because it means I can... I'm going slower, gives me a chance to get the guns on target and shoot down another B-17. <laughs> yep, on four health, the B-17's defense gunners have no problems are finishing me off. Alright, let's try that again. This time without the ramming attack. <laughs> Every time the ramming attacks are good, but it's rarely ever useful against the bomber. Oop, just missed another one right there. Streak past them, climb to try and gain some altitude and lose some speed, so I'll have an easier time getting the lineup. Roll it over. Stick the guns back on target. Get the bomber and just try and blow it out of the air. There we go. Helped get a couple more. Looks like that bomber flight is done, so let's have another bomber flight right up here. Let's pile in and look for more bad guys, to, <laughs> for more, more bombers to shoot down, because we're a heavy fighter, and that's what we're supposed to do. And yeah, I do have a bunch of rockets, but I just never find myself in a good position to use them in this match correctly. It's alright, this thing has 20 cannons, that'll shoot a bomber down a fair hard. So, yep, streak through, get another one, loop around to get behind them, get another lineup. Doing another vertical climbing turn once again to lose speed to give myself more time to do the lineup. Almost once I go to a dive, this thing accelerates really quickly! Woo! Okay. <laughs> that was not actually a very good pass. I did not account for any bombers. But that bomber flight's been knocked out, unfortunately. Um, Looks like we're down to a single defensive point left. <laughs> Too many bombers have gotten through, and there's still an entire wave of any bombers to get to stop. And if a single one sneaks through, we're going to lose the match. Unfortunately, I haven't figured this out yet, so I'm, I'm busy sitting here tangling with enemy players, or trying to find players and blow them away, because as far as I'm concerned, the more times they die, the happier I'll be. Find myself. You, XP50, I hate you. Die. <laughs> I know you're just a bot, but you've been giving me so much trouble this match. Come diving down, find another target, just picking up points, shoot down the enemy P51 again because he could be a problem. 
But now I can see it looks like we're shortly going to be getting another spawn, but oh look, there's a ground attack aircraft. Now I'm not quite sure, other than shooting, keeping the anti-aircraft guns out of commission, ground attack aircraft would do here, but whatever. He's in a plane. I'm a lot faster than he is. I'm just going to run and just see how much damage I can do. The last enemy bomber plane just spawned. So I'm just going to do one solid pass on this guy. Hopefully that'll be enough to take him out. And now it's bomber hunt of time. Alright, there's the second half of the last wave of enemy bombers. So come up here and I'm looking around going, I really need <laughs> to keep bad guys away. See if one of my friends is being chased by a Corsair. Nose up, hit the power, blow the Corsair away. And nose back down to the bomber stream, but spot a reason in the middle of it say, nope, that's an A player. Can't have him picking off our aircraft from here, so I'm just going to chase him right through the bomber formation laying on with cannons and machine guns until he's done. And now I'll have some, should have some chances to attack these B-17s in uh, relative peace, right? No, not so much. There's still plenty of red planes trying to defend them, <laughs> so I continue trying to kill them. Uh, but once I get close enough, I ignore them. Yeah, it's all about shooting down the bombers again, like a good heavy fighter is supposed to do. All right, hey, there's Ace, 20 kills in a single match. Sweet. Climb like an eagle. Just try and, once again, gain some distance, lose some speed, but um, not losing that much, as much speed as I think I am, but I do get enough distance to get another halfway decent run. Oh, another B-17. There we go. Streak through their formation yet again. Do the whole vertical climbing turn yet again. Gotta shoot down more of these bombers. This is a terrible pass. Almost ram another B-17. <laughs> like, just how many different ways can I mess this up? Gain some distance once again. Turn around. Because <laughs> they're bombers. They, they should be able to outrun me. And yeah, if this time around, there we go. That's the kind of pass we like to see. Target down. Target down. I'm, looking, I'm trying to find low health bombers, but then I spot a very tasty looking BF-109Z appears to be trying to defend them, and I'm like, no, 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 I can't let you shoot down any of my friends. Kill him. Once again, I'm, I'm getting distracted, because I don't realize how important it is we kill these bombers. I have not yet figured out <laughs> that we can't afford to let a single one through. So as a result, I'm getting distracted by um, player bot players and bots, when I really should just be attacking it. attack flight aircraft like crazy, and something just blew a hole in my wing. And I'm not really sure what it is, but I can see there's more red planes attacking my friends. But we have taken out that flight. There's one flight to go. I'm going to try and outrun the planes behind me. And this is the critical mistake. I'm running away from the bombers I should be attacking. What's chasing me is actually a player in a P-51. He knows how important this aircraft is. But once he sees I've broken off, he turns away. So I wheel back into it. He sees me turn around and goes, well, <laughs> I guess I gotta try and stop him. <laughs> but a P-51 versus a Tiger Cat in a face-to-face. -face. This is the one angle you do not want to attack a Tiger Cat from. So just burn his aircraft out of the sky. But here it is. This is the point where I'm really gonna screw it up. I've still not figured out that I cannot afford to let a single bomber through. I have not realized that's what that little indicator in the middle of the screen means. So as a result, I'm looking around. I'm trying to figure out how to keep enemy planes from shooting you so I can attack these bombers. And there's just a lot of players here. So I'm going to line up on one of them and try to blow and, and proceed to try and blow it out of the sky. <laughs> Not realizing that I'm in fact <laughs> dooming myself to defeat here. Because yep, the base. bombers make it through. But still, with 2,965 points, that is my highest ever personal total. So I have to say that this was kind of silly because, hey, guess what? This mode likes heavy fighters. I get an ace. I get the winged legend first on the team. Only two marks because, well, it's a bit of a strange mode. I think it's very difficult to get lots of marks in it, except under very unusual circumstances. But maybe I'm just playing it wrong. Uh, as you can see, I was doing in this one, ignoring the bombers a little too much, which ultimately cost us the match. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Good game. 
and good night.